Well then, got something different today. I'm going to tell you and explain to you the full story. The story began when somebody, somebody uh, who knows somebody who knows somebody, we'll put it that way, um, lives on 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 their own, um, and they went home, and there was an intruder in the house. Um, and there was a load of shouting and get out my house, get out my house, get out my house. My friend is coming any minute now. Yeah, get out of the house. Anyway, this intruder ended up stabbing the person we're talking about in the stomach and ran off. And luckily, uh, the friend was coming and the friend was behind. And as the friend came to the door, she sort of wondered why was the door open and whatever and shouting. And the intruder came and ran past her. She could have, or, or the person could have so easily been stabbed on the way out, but the intruder ran off. And that's happened fairly close to us. Um, so it got us thinking, hmm, we've got the CCTV system, so we've got the outside covered. Um, we are really impressed with the ring doorbell. Um, you know, if you haven't got a ring doorbell, you're missing out. Anybody, you don't have, the ring doorbell is good for pressing a button and working on your phone. But it's also, if anybody walks past the front of the ring doorbell, it tells us, notifies us, gives us a film, sends a film to our, our um, phones. So we know if there's somebody loitering, we've got CCTV, we've, we know if if somebody's around the property just to keep an eye on, um, that sort of thing. If somebody steps over the boundary into the ring doorbell, oh yeah, that's a postman, oh yeah, that's a man delivering, you know. So we have that protection in place. Because after all, you know, we've got a lot of money and time invested in our home for the sake of a couple of hundred quid the full system system was a bit of money, but we're really pleased with it. The ring doorbell is even less money. For 200 quid, it protects your front doorbell. So we like the idea. So we haven't got it. And yes, we've got an alarm, but to be truthful, we don't always put it on. Um, if we go, if we're going for a, a longer period, we do like all day or whatever. But generally, just coming in and out and go in, and sometimes you forget, and it's a faff, isn't it? We sort of rely on the CCTV and the front door, then the um, ring doorbell. So how can we bring the bits that we like and the convenience that we like into the house, into the house now? So we bought two of them. Um, this is what it looks like. It doesn't take a lot of space. We've got ones that will plug in. There are battery ones available. These are meant to be plugged in permanently. So these will be on and left on. <coughs> now, if you've got a, the thinking behind it is we'll get a, at least we'll get a notification. So if somebody's in the house or it spots something in the house, we're warned, you know, ding dong. It's come on the phone. It's seen something in the house. We can approach more cautiously, can we? Or we can see someone there or we can set the alarms off. We can set them off remotely. We can put the lights on. We chose Tapo because we've got other things which are powered by Alexa. Our big outside lights and some of our inside lights are all Alexa controlled, uh, made by the same firm. So that's why we went for this particular one. But... It's this this one we're going to put in a room, which is our front bedroom. You know, it's a three bedroom house. All all the time you're in and around your house and your room. But you don't, if you think about it, you don't go into your spare bedroom or your second bedroom or a bedroom that you don't use. You don't go into that that often. So you're not going to get many notifications on your phone. So... And the crook will come in, won't he? And he'll check every room out. So he's going to walk into a room, a spare room or whatever, and tip the place upside down. And you, these will spot them and notify you there's somebody around. Or hopefully it'll get the film and the footage and all the rest of it. But even if they take these with them, 
it's gone via the internet and it's put you in the phone. It's notified you, hasn't it? So we're putting one in the room that we use the least uh, for one. And we haven't really decided where we're going to put the second one. So for not a lot of money, the technology is here. The technology wasn't here before. But now the technology is caught up and, and you can buy this stuff Really well for for really really cheap next to what you're protecting. Now let me tell you another story. And yes, the the in the street, uh, you shouldn't have to put things safely away. You shouldn't have to lock your gates. You shouldn't have to do anything. But unfortunately, the times we live in, and what happened, there was two push bikes kept outside the house. Uh, always kept outside the house. Just, I'm guessing, standard push bikes. You know, a push bike is a push bike. And the back gates were always open. You know, when you come in and out with your vehicle, it was always open. It wasn't a case they were kept shut and open when needed or kept open when you felt far away. The gates were open and you could see these push bikes up against the house. Uh, if you were looking, if you were that sort of person, do you know what I mean? If you were a, a moocher and... Anyway, you shouldn't have to lock your gates. You shouldn't have to worry about push bikes outside your house. But unfortunately, it's the way it is. And the bikes went missing. And then there was a big hullabaloo, blah, blah, blah. Why this? Why that? Um, you know, but it's too late. The push bikes have gone. Uh, there's nothing you can do about it for the sake of not a lot of money. And what I said to the, the people I was talking to, I said, look, as you can see, we're bristling with electronics, but if you haven't got no sort of protection ring, CCTV, for the for the price you've paid for your house and the time you've spent that you love, it's your castle, uh, for a couple of hundred quid here and a couple of hundred quid there, buying bits and pieces for it, build up your armory, you've got to protect your stuff. You've got to, you've got to attempt to protect it. Yeah, uh, it's the way it is. It's the way it shouldn't be. It isn't that way. It shouldn't be that way. And and also, what we've found more useful with the CCTV and the ring especially is it tells us that nobody comes to the door and it tells us we watch the CCTV when you're having a tea break when, oh, I wonder how the cameras are doing. I wonder how home is looking. It's sort of almost satisfying to see that nothing is happening. So you're not really using the system to see something happening because nothing happens ever, hardly. But it's there, should it happen? Should it need to be used? And, you know, I've shown you now and again, things have happened and vehicles have come up the side in the dark and I've hit the lights and they've gone off. What were they, what were they doing up here? And what were their intentions? Nobody knows, but the fact that I was able to spot them on the cameras and the fact that I was able to switch the big spotlights on without even le leaving the comfort of my seat, watching the television, all electronic, you know, Alexa type stuff. And they bug it off, go elsewhere. You can't stop them doing what you do, what they do, but they can. you can stop them or deter them from coming to your place and doing what you can do. For relatively, if you think of how much a house costs, or how much it costs to put stuff in your house, or the cost of replacing it, you know. You, for instance, a table here. You buy a table, you you, bought, you paid 100 quid for it, it's, it's 10 years old. Now, to replace it, you're talking 200 quid. So that's the thing. It's not the, the cost of what you've lost. It's the cost of replacing, and just the aggravation and the point of the damn thing, and hopefully they'll just catch. So here's my ramble over. Um, I think it was 50 quid for the pair of them. Uh, hopefully we'll never need to use them, but they're there if we want them and they pan and tilt and do they turn? Um, yeah, I think they turn as well. Pan and tilt. Oh, they don't zoom pan. Pan is, ah yeah, round and round. And tilt so you can look around the room should you want to but it's just 
it's it's nothing for the cost of nothing virtually um, for a very little cost you can there's that much electronics out today and these cameras will just show that there's nothing happening and if something does happen you might be lucky and you might see a face might you you might and it might help you so anyway we've got these two in two new um electronic bits of, of surveillance one will be going in the room that we never use and we haven't really decided where we're going to put this one or how we're going to set it up mm. but we don't want to be able to see us in the room we don't want to be able to keep walking past it and keep getting notifications we'll have to put it in a place where we don't walk past very often mm. anyway that's today's little film <laughs>